Hello and welcome back to Upside Down. Today we are going to be starting a new series where we are going to create a complete 3D environment from scratch. So if you are interested in improving your modeling skills, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Let's jump to episode 1 of our new series. So in these videos I'll be creating a full environment from scratch all the way to the very end where we set up everything with lights, uh, bakes and everything that's needed inside Unreal 4. The very first environment that we are going to work on and that we will create is going to be heavily based from the Hellblade series. I've gathered a couple of reference images from Hellblade and we will try to recreate some of the models and also we will try to create after that the same mood and feeling. The things that we will be covering are modularity, creating buildings, creating textures, importing everything inside Unreal, how to set up your scenes, how to set up lights, how to set up your resolution for the bakes and at the end how to create some cameras do some prot processing and achieve a similar mood as in Hellblade. From the beginning the models that we will start with will be for our building. We will create a couple of modules so that we can start building a house. So I already have an empty 3ds Max scene opened. The only thing that I've imported inside is the Unreal mannequin. We are going to use this mannequin for scale references. We will start first making a simple column. So I'll just make a box. From here I'll be continuing creating some wooden beams, some planks and other small elements that we will need for our modules. So as a start, these are the modules that uh, we will start making. We can see that uh, here, this one will be for 
a 3 meter wall, this one is going to be for a 2 meter wall, this one is going to be for a door, this is so that we can create something like a small opening above the door. I will make same element as this for the upper part which will be closed or maybe we can make it uh, directly from, from this one. Those will be the planks, I will make three different variations of planks that will go from that will go all the way from the top to the bottom and then we will have two versions for uh, shorter planks that uh, we can create like a small window or a small opening and we can combine in a different way so the way that it will work out i will i will create a copy over here just to show you so if we have this module then we can take this take this piece rotate it 19 degrees put it right here then we can continue like let's say we have three modules like that of course at the moment we don't have the modules which will be cut off for for the roof but we will do this uh, after we finish with our base modules i will remove this and just put those here and you can see already how a uh, structure of uh, building just using a couple of modules uh, those smaller beams are the ones that uh, i will use for for making uh, where the planks are staying so there will be like two or three of them on on each side uh, we will make probably some elements which will be with three then some of those which will be just with two uh, and i also added uh, a few different variations so first so that we have this one for the two meter walls uh, and the other one so that uh, maybe we will want to uh, make some other element which uh, will be some wooden beam with some shorter uh, planks coming sticking out of it or we can uh, add this as a extra detail from the outside just so that it sticks out so that uh, it, it it looks like there is a actually the support is going on the other side and uh, these wooden beams are, are continuing so i'll just quickly show you how uh, this works so let's say that we have this thing like that and then we can add an extra one over here so that we can add some irregularities here and there and uh, make it look like that not everything is perfectly cut and uh, perfectly made but we will see at the end maybe we will end up not using this element that much okay so now that uh, i showed you how we are going to build a whole building from these modules i will just remove this so that my file stays nice and clean so before exporting everything i actually want to make a few changes uh one is one is that we don't need this module i'll just make a separate one which will be six meters instead and this one as well Okay, and the way that we are going to export everything to ZBrush is uh, actually I will export all of these. Select them, export selected as an OBJ. Once we have uh, our names and everything done here on the OBJ exporter options, we, we are going to export everything as it is by default. Just click export, wait for everything to finish, click done and we are ready to go in ZBrush. Thank you for joining me today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you next time.